It's March 26th, year 2009. We're in, uh, I'm in Gokulam, Mysore, India. And today's a uh, moon day, so no practice. Um, once again, a reading from this wonderful book called Words of My Perfect Teacher by Patru Rinpoche. Uh, it's a classical Tibetan Buddhist text. Um, today, I read a number of different things, um, but um, the theme that keeps hitting me time and time again is the whole idea that um, I've been really reflecting on the fact that most of the time, most of us um, act, really act and believe as if what we do, what we say, how we behave, whether it be positive or negative, has no real consequence. And um, according to Buddhist doctrine, every single thing we do, every single thought we have, no matter how small or how big, no matter how positive, how negative, it all has consequences. Very, very strong consequences, in fact. Affects many lifetimes and affects many other people, not just ourselves. So to really begin to examine that, even, even if it just to ask the question, um, you know, because most of us walk around with a lot of beliefs and assumptions about our life which, for the most part, have gone largely unexamined. So, what if, in fact, every single thing we did, every single thought we had, every single emotion that we emoted, had tremendously powerful consequences? Not just in the present moment, but way beyond the present moment. If we really were to be aware of that, to reflect on that, would we in fact be acting the same? Because I notice that for myself, whatever I do, most things that I do, I act even the most significant things in many ways I do, there are a lot of times when I really do so with kind of an underlying belief that it has little, if any, consequence. And the more that I meditate on this, the more that there is a great deal of mindfulness, a certainly a greater degree of care with which I act and move about the world. Somehow or other, also naturally, when I do that, it naturally brings me into a consciousness where I am connected to, in large extent, to many, many other aspects of life and reality. That I don't really act in a vacuum. That in fact my actions, my thoughts, that my very essence is deeply connected to all other living beings. And this is very profound in and of self. So, today just that short reflection. It's one that I think deserves a great deal of contemplation. And um, a great deal of consideration on a regular basis. To know that we are deeply connected to one another, that what we do, what we say, what we think has deep consequence, not only for ourselves but others. To live a spiritual life is to cultivate this awareness very, very strongly. And to begin to move and act and think from this place. And very naturally what you'll find is that it starts to cultivate this feeling of love for other living beings, care for other living beings, begin to see that 
it becomes a natural motivation, a natural consideration to act from this place. And um, it's very simple, very powerful, and it does create, wow, a tremendous amount of um, just natural beauty in one's life, a natural amount of clarity. So that's today's reflection.